How are you doing today? I'm all right. That's fantastic. It's rather warm. It is warm. It's really hot. It's 90 degrees. Can you tell us a little bit about Misery, how it got started, and how you inspired to do it? Uh, I started off doing a haunted yard, and um, I started off in a hearse club, and I just kept collecting more and more odd, unique stuff like caskets and hearses, and uh, eventually I started uh, working with a nonprofit haunted house in Little Shoot, and I took it over the next year and changed it, rebranded it all into Misery Haunted House from what it originally was. <clears throat> and then this is our fifth season. We moved uh, out of there after our second year, and this is our fifth year um, in Berlin. Or third year in Berlin, fifth year altogether. So. Thanks. Sweet. <laughs> what nights are you guys open this year for haunt season? <clears throat> We are open every Friday and Saturday night in October and the first weekend of September. Do you have any special events that are happening this year? Uh, not this year, no. Just our main season. Main season. Yep. And what is admission this year? Uh, it's $14 uh, admission and $1 from every admission goes to the Oshkosh Area Humane Society. Next donation. Do you offer any uh, volunteer nights? Like if somebody wanted to come in and volunteer or do you have like an orientation? For, like people to go through? Yep, we have orientations in September and um, we take volunteers throughout the season. Uh, you can apply on our website. We're asking mainly for 18 and over this year and uh, it's all volunteers. Anybody can show up any Friday or Saturday night. Um, pretty much try and be here by 4 or 5 o'clock to get started. So. And you supply like costumes and the makeup and everything? Uh, we do have costumes and we do all the makeup. If you have a costume of your own that you want to bring and, and volunteer, we can try and find somewhere to put you for that. So. Oh, nice. I just bought my Halloween costume, so. Yeah, hey! Well, right. uh, Egyptian Pharaoh. Oh, we got a room for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the escape room, is it? Or is it? Well, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> this year, when people come to visit, is there a, a huge difference in change? We know uh, Hollow Chambers is not open this year. Correct. Uh, what can you tell us people can expect this year when they come? Well, we had um, we had purchased Hollow Chambers two years ago. Um, it was the haunt house that was in the building the year before we moved in. And uh, we purchased that our first year here. And then the second year here, last year we expanded to Hollow Chambers and Misery and Laser Tag. And we had some problems with that last year with uh, logistics of running two on separate sides of the building and everything and just um, the laser tag was electronic problems and stuff like that so we shut that down it just wasn't reliable enough to use it was really old equipment we had uh, acquired from another place that had shut down but so we shut down laser tag last year and we have closed hollow chambers for this season to completely redo it and fix it up and stuff but that allowed us to completely redo our, our main haunt down here and everything we <laughs> everything we have down here this year is a lot tighter, a lot more intense, and a lot more adrenaline this season. Nice. So it's it's longer for time wise because everything's shorter. We have a lot more uh, close encounters and stuff and a lot more winding. Uh, we incorporated the larger rooms to the fact that you can go through them twice. So you have a lot more actor interaction between that and it's, it's a lot more intense this year than it's been before. Awesome. Yeah. That's pretty much all I have for myself. <laughs> for yourself. <laughs> uh, you're returning to the dark side this year, right? Correct. Yep. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, we don't have much light on this side of the building, so it was always the dark side of the tannery. So in the past, last year, like I said, we had moved our whole entrance to the other side on uh, Wisconsin Street when we had the laser tag, the two haunted houses, and then that. But we originally were on this side of the building. So this year we're returning to the dark side of the building and really intensifying up. So it's, it's, it's a lot darker, a lot more intense this season than it's been any of the seasons that we've done before. Awesome. Love to hear it. Is there anything else you would like to add to the interview today? Um... <laughs> no, no, we have we have two escape rooms as well this season. Escape rooms? Um, we had the one last year, the Egyptian one, and this year we have the Mystery of the Red Case. So. Red Case. <laughs> Mystery. Well, do you mind if we go on a little tour? Sure, let's go. All right, thank you. Misery Haunted House. 
year um, instead of doing our pictures out on the main uh, by the main sign like we've done in the past we're actually taking family photos in here now so you come and visit you get your picture taken and you hope that it shows up in the family photo album huh. <laughs> this is our escape room uh, one of our two escape rooms this year this one is our Egyptian room the tomb and uh, this year we're doing a special offer on this one that because it is actually part of the haunted house, you can spend $25 at our ticket booth and do this escape room. If you escape it in 30 minutes, you escape into the haunt and you get the rest of the haunt for free. If you do not escape the haunt, you must go back up to the ticket booth and purchase tickets for the haunted house then. But it's an opportunity. You get to have an extra 30 minutes inside the escape room. If you win, you escape, you unlock this, and the door, and you get to uh, go on and uh, experience the rest of the haunt. Oh. This is our hotel for pets. If uh, you come to town and you don't want to leave your pet all alone or anything, you can uh, bring him in here and he will be watched by our staff so that, uh, you know, pets. This is the uh, turkey we were talking about in the cage that decided to attack us the other night. So he's just a decoy turkey and he just like, no, oh, he lunged in the cage. So, yeah, he, he just shuffed forward in there. So, but he's nothing animatronic, nothing weird about him. He's just a plastic decoy turkey. You can see kind of other stuff. I don't know how much you can see in here, but. All of our little pets that are visiting the hotel. This is our nightmare room. Night, because it's nights, and mare, because there's a horse at the beginning of it. Not nightmare like a dream. Area. 
this is like I was saying up front, where we have this, the bigger rooms like this, you actually come through twice. So you used to be on the front side of the diner, but now you come through and now you're the actual patrons that work at the diner. So it kind of doubles up the space here. incarnation of Time Warp this year. Time Warp gets a, a new exit and a new style every year that basically you have six doors around you and you have to find the way out of the room. But we've added the strobe and the curtains and each year it gets a little bit harder because people keep finding their way out. So I'll let you guys try and find your way out. Hold on, you said there's six doors? There are six doors, yep. Only one exit? Only one exit, yep. Oh man, now you're, now you're playing with me. <laughs> favorite rooms here, the swamp. We got a full waterfall. We got our talking Audrey 2 plant. supposed to be uh, after you leave the laboratory the creature of the person that has built him is in here now and then the creature will be able to interact with whoever comes down the hallway. <laughs> Um, you know, like we have our old hollow chamber sign is here. 
we keep it around for when we reopen. Right there's the doors that used to be the front of the uh, um, laser tag when okay. you opened it. They were the big sliding door set that comes through. So those are hanging out here. This whole section is all doors and stuff if we need any of that. We have sliding doors and cage doors and any kind of thing. Smash glass doors, um, kind of pod chamber doors here if we want to do any kind of stuff like that. Some of it you've probably seen in the haunted past years. Some of it we've just never used. Yeah. <laughs> All of our rooms on the outside are labeled for our actors and for fire escapes. So when you come through, you see um, the actors on the outside. They know what room they're in, so they can enter in there. And then if there's a fire or anything, it has the emergency fire thing on this side, and then an arrow and a fire extinguisher to determine which way they need to go in case of a fire or anything. And our whole building has uh, fire suppression, and we have the security lights that come on if there is a fire or any problems. <coughs> These are the caskets that used to be in our queue line out there, all stacked up in the way. <laughs> and then all of our actors have lockers in case uh, they bring anything they need to keep safe or anything during when we are open. And then you're back out to the front here. Um, when we do have actors come to check in and stuff, this is our ticket booth when we open up. And then this is our, our makeup room, office, costumes, and uh, bathroom. We have a first aid area over here in case anyone has any problems when we're open during the haunt. Cuts, scrapes, band-aids, anything like that. We have three makeup stations. They all have airbrushes and uh, just regular paint makeup and stuff like that. We have a whole wall of uh, ideas and stuff for if we have any uh, inspiration or need any inspiration, stuff like that. My office back there basically runs the security systems for the haunt, all of our cameras and the lighting and all that kind of stuff. We have a whole makeup <laughs> costume rack back here and then two dressing rooms in our mini <laughs> You remember two years or last year we had the uh, snorty guy under the bed that popped out and uh, like reached out for you. This is the animatronic that used to be under there. So we figured it still worked. Everything was here. We just took it and now it's sitting in storage. But hands reach out. This raises up and lowers so it raised up the whole bed. And then the hands shot out at you. Okay, so. really scared almost to piss out of me. <laughs> no one expected that last year. I try and do something every year that no one expects. Something that like, oh, there's, you know, oh, it's a bed. What the hell is going to scare me on the bed? Oh, hands come out from the bed. Yeah, that's exactly right. But <laughs> you know, we got a lot of stuff, you know, like I was saying, stuff that used to be in part of the haunt that's not anymore. We have the flooring from the laser tag party room back here. <laughs> We have a lot of PVC pipe. We have pretty much anything that we want to build anything of. This used to be the uh, rolling rack that was in the Rainbow Factory room last year. Had a lot of like body parts and stuff on it. This is like a drop portrait, but it's a cupboard. We haven't used that since we were in Little Shoot. We haven't really had a room that uh, it uses it for, but an actor's back here. And then you open this, and then the, whoops, the other side is a cupboard. <laughs> That's why it's scary. But the other side's a cupboard and shelves, and when you're walking down through the haunt, it looks like a cupboard or a shelf, and then the actor pops out from behind it. So. This is all of our storage. We have all the mannequins that we have in the queue line. Um, we have some of our Christmas stuff back there, spare air compressors and stuff like that. Uh, there's a medical bed somewhere back in there. There's uh, all kinds of weird shit. This used to be part when we were in Little Shoot. We had Fantasia. It was the bar from uh, True Blood. Yep. And we had that all set up, but we saved that, put it on the outside of the haunt so we didn't have to scrap it. We have all kinds of wood and supplies and stuff for anything we want to build. And this is where we keep everything that's not part of the haunt or right we want to build we have all kinds of spare wall panels 
We have saws, table saws, um, drills, anything that you want to build or create, we got. As far as we have, uh, we have a welder for any metal stuff that we want to do. We have air. We have all electric, pneumatic. Uh, wiring is all back here. All of our pneumatic parts and stuff. This is all light bulbs, fog machines, all kinds of extension cords for when we run any power anywhere. Two toolboxes full of everything under the sun from small screwdrivers to big screwdrivers. We have garden hoses for running some of our water stuff. All spare uh, um, blah, 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 blah. wood. <laughs> I don't know what the stuff is. <laughs> Former trees. Posters, banners, everything we got. So we can pretty much make, create, build anything we want if we have the time for it. So, so this is our new escape room this year. This is the uh, uh, mystery of the red case. And uh, our resident um, scientist, uh, Dr. Evermore, has invited you guys to his office to see his latest research and stuff. And uh, when you show up, Dr. Evermore isn't there, but a mysterious red case has appeared in his place. And it is your job to solve the mystery of the red case before the time runs out. There you go. Sweet. 15 bucks. 20 minutes. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs>